April is a busy month in local theater. In fact, you could say it's raining plays. Here with a look at what's on stage is Post Gazette senior theater critic Chris Rawson, who is a Pirates fan. Well, it's of undeniable. course I'm a Pirates fan, and I'm a theater critic, and I just want to say welcome to the Pirates, our annual six month drama. Right. You know, 81, it's a drama. 81 <laughs> scenes. I love it. It's, it's always a fresh scene coming on. It's the best play in Pittsburgh. <laughs> there you However, go. However, I'm not going to wear this thing the whole time. Okay. Just put it there as a memory. Now, there are two that we're going to begin with that you've seen that you want to give reviews on, right? Right. The first is at the Public Theater, and I want to stress this one because it just has this week to run. Okay. It's called A Doll's House Part Two. And a lot of people know that A Doll's House is a Henrik Ibsen back mm -hmm. in the 19th century, 1880, which ends with this young woman who's figured out that marriage is constricting. She finally gets up the courage to leave her house and slams the door at the end. So A Doll's House Part Two, written by Lucas Hanath, it's a current play, mm -hmm. starts 15 years later. And the stage at the public theater, it's wonderful. It's just a simple set with a door. And it starts with that door glowing, the lights in the house go down, the lights come up, and knock, 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 open the door, and there's Nora. She's come back 15 years later, and she's come back because her husband never gave her the divorce he'd promised, and she, meanwhile, has become rather famous. A woman lecturer mm -hmm. uh, about the evils of marriage, but back in the day, he legally still owns everything she owns and controls everything she has so she's come back for the divorce but she has to first she's come back to talk to the audience because she's a great lecturer it's mm -hmm. very i have to say this is very funny but it's also very smart it's like a modern play by shaw shaw who wrote comedy in them and if you're interested in marriage it's a fabulous play beautifully acted directed by ted pappas Okay, and the next one is, is all about radio. Yeah, yeah, and I think this is a story people know, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. um, but this is done by Bricolage Theater, small theater in the, uh, on Liberty Avenue in the Cultural District. Sure, yeah. And they have this thing they've done for many years now where they pretend to put on a radio play. Mm -hmm. So you see the actors at their mics making the sound effects as they go, which is really the main fun that of it. That is so fun. And yeah. the actors all play different parts using different voices. Uh, it's, uh, and I guess we know the story. The story is less interesting <laughs> in this case than seeing than the, production. the actors do it. Yeah. Right. In fact, right. they were on PTL last week and we loved it. It's only about an hour and quarter and uh, everybody has a good time and goes out and has a drink afterwards or before. Now, you also want to preview a bunch of things that are coming up here, There's right? a lot of stuff So coming. the heiress. The heiress is actually based on a novel by Henry James, which sounds a little daunting, but it, the novel is Washington Square, which is one of his early funny novels. It's about a young woman who is an heiress, but her father is very stern, and he turns away the one suitor who comes for her hand. Mm -hmm. And then in Act Two, some years later, the father's died. She's really an heiress now, and the young man comes comes back and what happens? I'm okay. not going to tell you. You're not going to? No. <laughs> don't no. spoil it for so us. So Picked, Pittsburgh picked. Irish and Classical Theater uh, is doing it at the Fred Rogers Studio at WQED starting, do you have the dates there? Because uh, I don't remember. Yeah, April 4th there. through the 27th. That's right. So yeah. starting this weekend. All right, very yeah. good. And the Pittsburgh Broadway, or PNC Broadway, Come From Away is one of them, right? Yes. It's funny about Come From Away, by the way. It's a, a prize winner in New York. Mm -hmm. It's a musical about the people who had to land in Newfoundland. Yes, uh, I've seen it in Broadway. Oh, yeah. you did? Yeah. Oh, see, I have not. So <laughs> I was really looking forward to seeing it here. It's going to be here next week. I, however, unfortunately, will be here next week with the Post-Gazette Theater <laughs> Tour. So you know what? We're seeing it in London. There you go. <laughs> While All right. you're seeing it here. All right. As long as you're seeing it, that's what that's what's good. Also, something called the Burdens. The Burdens is at City Theater, our you know our very professional theater on the South Side mm -hmm. that does new plays, and it's a sharp comedy about a brother and a sister who are trying to relieve, as I understand it, I haven't seen it, relieve their parents of the burden of their grandparents. Oh, and see. what does that mean and what does that involve? It's a comedy but with an edge. Yeah. Uh, directed by Mark Masterson who has returned to be the artistic director at City Theatre.
Okay, one of my favorites, Book of Mormon. Yeah, what do I need to say about the Book of Mormon? <laughs> it's, you know, riotously funny, maybe not quite so funny if you're a Mormon, uh, although I think they've kind of embraced it because what I think they, they can, have, yeah. Yeah, it's been around the country for a long time now, and I've seen it three or four times, and it's still funny. There, that says something right there. And also, August Wilson, the birthday street fair coming up on April 27th. Yeah, I'm really big on this because I'm a member of the board of directors of the August Wilson House, and this is the fourth year mm -hmm. we put on this big street fair uh, on Bedford Avenue, starting at August Wilson's house, his childhood home, extending on up the street. We had 70 vendors last year. We had 3,000 people. We have performers. We have celebrities. Goes on all afternoon, Saturday. April 27th, save that date. Save that date. And I love it. It's a piece of history right there in the middle of the Hill District, and I love that you guys are doing that. Also, we want to mention uh, ticket sales for Dear Evan Hansen. A lot of people looking forward to That's that. That's right. right, and the Cultural Trust is concerned because there's been a run on tickets. They have very few tickets. So what they advise you to do is go to the Cultural Trust, Pittsburgh Cultural Trust, website and they have special instructions about how you can get in on the pre-sale which actually starts at the end of this week. Uh, there's a code you use. They're okay. also going to do a lottery. So all that information is available on the Cultural Trust website. That's the next PNC after the two we've already mentioned. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much, Chris Rawson, as always, for keeping us up to date. Theater critic, senior theater critic for the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Thanks for being with us. Go Bucks. Go Bucks.